اقرأ باسم ربك الذي خلق As for juzu number 20 which starts from ayah 56 from surah An-Naml up to ayah 45 from surah Al-Ankabut Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in these verses brought all the evidences which uh, prove the principles of aqidah and tawheed in a way that can demonstrate that this aqidah which we are asked to follow is based on sound evidences. It is not just an aqidah which we just take it without any understanding. The same thing about the risalah, that the prophethood is something genuine, is something true, is something real. Because many people, they rejected the idea of prophethood. So he demonstrated by evidence that the issue of prophethood is something real and we need to understand it and believe it because it is in our religion one of the articles of Iman. He talks also about all the ways and means which we have to follow in order to establish the aqidah in our hearts by looking at the bounties of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in this universe. So in many verses, he urged us to look into the greatness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in his creations, in heavens and earth, in oceans, in nature, in animals, in galaxies, in everything. And that would help us to realize that this can never exist by itself. They must have a creator. He talks also about the um, ibtila which we are facing in life and the need to have patience, the need to have sabr, because this is one of the patterns of life. This is one of the tests of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala which we have to pass through if we want to get his pleasure and get his heaven in the hereafter. Wabillahi tawfiq wal hidayah. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh.